we were going to talk about what our first experiences are when it came to video games and consoles. So, like, what are your... For every console you had, what's the first memory you have of it or getting it? And, like, what's what's a memory that you cherish from that um, game or console? So, go ahead and start. So, pretty much, uh, like, when I was growing up, my most of the consoles were bought by my dad and my brother. But I usually played them, like... When I was, like, when I got more into gaming, like, usually they would have, like, because my parents were very strict about me playing M-rated games back then. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. expecting my God-fearing eyeballs. Yeah. So, basically, um, but I would play, like, you know, friendly games like, you know, Crash Bandicoot, and then I got introduced to the Wii. And that was my first kind of big console, like, related to Nintendo in any way. Apparently, I also had a Game Boy through too like because my brother owned a game boy growing up and he gave it to me so i'm like oh yay with the wii i usually like played um mario galaxy like just all the multiplayer games i played with my brother and my cousins those were like the best times i had with gaming because back then i didn't know what competitive gaming was i was just a little kid and just enjoying video games so yeah those kind of my first experiences with consoles or like those two consoles and like just playing them endlessly was just so much fun my first console was the Wii as well. I remember yeah. my dad had really wanted one and he he somehow he got one on opening day, like on release wow. day. Yeah, I know. And the Wii was very hard to get on opening day. Oh yeah, I've I've heard stories of like how it's people like, went through trial to get one. Yeah, so I don't know if he pre ordered it. I don't know if he beat an old lady with a stick. I don't know I don't know what oh, he God. did. I don't I don't know what he did. <laughs> but I just remember I was a toddler when the Wii came out and I yeah. remember going downstairs and my dad was playing Wii bowling. And he looked at oh, me. Oh yeah, I mean and he was like you got the Wii package with like Wii Sports yeah, and all that. Yeah, like, it came like, it, one of the best ones. Yeah, Wii Sports and Mario Kart is what he picked up. Oh yeah. Those were he, classics. He, I looked at him and I looked at the screen and he went, Hey kiddo, wanna try it? And I looked at him and he handed me the controller and I remember just kind of kind of just waving the controller around because I was like three or four. I didn't know what to do. That's fair. Um But I eventually got the hang of it. Mm -hmm. And I remember I kept messing up. Like you know how you throw the the controller back? And yeah. the bowling ball goes towards all the me's and they all freak out like an apocalypse. Oh, yeah, is like happening. the spin, the, like the hey. yeah, the, hey. yeah. That that's I kept doing that. So then after a little while, I started getting better and better and better. And then my first introduction to Mario was with Mario Kart Wii. Oh, that's I, a great way to start. I, I I remember falling in love with that game, and just, it was just the best. It, it was one of the best Mario Karts. I wasn't that good at it obviously because i was a kid yeah. and i made it my lifelong goal to be able to beat my dad and my mom at the game and i can now <laughs> but i just remember that was so fun and oh, yeah. that was that was my first family console so that wasn't really mine that was more my yeah. dad's and he let me play on it yeah it was like more like it was like a sharing console and, you it, know, exactly yeah a family out. console my favorite memory of the wii is probably mm -hmm with super paper mario oh super paper mario I love that is game. such a good game man i like, i i struggle to grasp the concept as a kid but like nowadays i yeah. actually love it and it's just so much fun like it's such a nice like breath of fresh air from the you know the traditional paper mario series yeah like, it's more the, like an rpg but this is a platformer it is it they combined the they were able to add a 3d element with mario and the story of super paper mario oh. I, stories younger so me teared up when i first finished the game it was such a beautiful experience i remember sitting there and being like well now what like what happens what do i do now but anyways exactly. my favorite memory is when my dad was in the final world he was in um, count Black's castle and he oh, could not gotcha. figure out the puzzles for the life of him <laughs> so i remember him at the time my basement had the layout where my mom's computer was uh, in a desk a couple feet away from the TV and oh. we were playing on the TV. My mom was at work. So mm -hmm. we were playing and my dad kept sending me over to the computer to look up the puzzles. Oh. And so we kept looking up and I watched him fight the final boss. And I remember I was so proud of him. I thought it was so cool. 
And then later, my mom went down to the basement to work on some stuff. And okay. we hear her shout from the basement, why is my computer full of Count Blex Castle? My dad and I started dying. <laughs> and she was like, can you explain this? And my dad just looked at her and went, the puzzles were hard. I needed help. My Another memory I really had, like, I have a really funny story. Okay. So... Back when I was a kid, we had, you know, the standard white Wii, you know? You know how there's a black and white Wii? Yeah, I have, I have the white Wii. So basically, we got the white Wii as our first console. So back then, I loved Bakugan as a kid. Mm -hmm. And Bakugan, like, I guess it was my craze. And then I'm playing with some Bakugan near the Wii. And my five-year-old brain thought it would be a good idea. Oh, what if I stuck up? Freaking Bakugan disc in the Wii. And guess what happened? Wait, a disc or a card? A card. Like, I had, like, one of the little... Oh, of the yeah, Bakugan yeah, cards, yeah. Okay. And I stuck it in the Wii, and oh, it, God. like, somehow broke it to the point where it couldn't Wii read Wii games anymore. Oh, dang. But it could still read um, GameCube games, which was kind of nice. That's that's odd, but okay. So we could... So we basically kept the white Wii, and I, I would... I'm so mad at myself for doing that now. I mean, mm -hmm. I, God forbid, I was a kid when I did that. After that, uh, we got, um, I decided that I would ask for another Wii for Christmas because, you know, it was a family console and my family enjoyed it. So I thought mm -hmm. I would make up for my mistake by getting a Wii for Christmas. And we did. We got a black Wii. And this is where my first experience with Mario came in. Because you know what it came with? It came with new Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I loved that game. And it made me fell, fall in love with the Italian plover that we all know and love. Yep. I I got the my Wii, the one I got as a kid that my dad either bought appropriately on time or beat an old lady with a stick with. I still have that one today. And it is set up yeah. right next to my TV that I just used to record a video with. Speaking on the same terms of Mario Brothers, I remember I got that game for Christmas. Oh, I remember yeah. waking up, coming out into the living room, and I looked in my stocking, and New Super Mario Brothers Wii was in my stocking. Oh, yeah. And the joy I felt as a little kid. Because mm -hmm. I, I didn't know a lot about Mario at the time, but I knew I loved the games. Anything exactly. Mario, I just went nuts after. And I remember playing it, and playing it, and just having so much fun. That's It's... A lot yeah. of people really crap on that game. They say, yeah. oh, it's a little too they, slow paced. It's not that fun or exciting. They, they really just unappreciate that game and it makes me mad. It does. Like, that game is actually fun. It is. That is my favorite I mean, 2D Mario. The thing is, is that I get why people could be mad because if you're playing it alone, it gets kind of boring. But when you're playing that's it with friends, it, that's when it really shines. And that's when you make enemies for life because you end up grabbing your brother or your sister or friend and you <laughs> chuck them off the cliff and throw them into a pit of lava while you are laughing hysterically. Yeah. And then you could also watch your friends maliciously struggle to follow your instructions or else they don't go to the freaking ceiling. They go to the floor. Yeah, that's that's true. Like I, that's where the joy of that game... I mean, it's not all in that, but still. It, you can create some laughs with that, because you can yeah. still do that to this day. Like, you can do that in 3D World. That's one of the things I find interesting about Mario Brothers <sighs> Wonder, because Super Mario Wonder doesn't have that feature. There's no collision. Yeah, it doesn't. I think that it would have been a smart decision if Nintendo made the collision optional. Yeah. It's like, you exactly. can turn it off, or you can turn it on for what your preference is. The next console I got after the Wii was, or directly right after, was the Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, I, that's a great console. I remember specifically, my my parents used to have me go to church when I was a little kid. I hated mm -hmm. that. I remember every Sunday I would wake up, make myself some food, go downstairs, and start watching Sonic Underground. And just, oh, great show. I'd watch that amazing show. I'd watch it, and then my mom would call up for me. She's like, hey, it's time to go to church. And I'm like, no. I don't want to go to church. Anyways, there's this family that we knew at church called the Grubs. Mm -hmm. And I, my mom was really good friends with the mom of that family. And mm -hmm. they had her babysit me several times. 
And there was one time I was being babysat by them at their house. And I saw the Game Boy Advance SP and I looked at it and like, can I play this? And the mom had said, oh yeah, sure. That's our son's. He doesn't use it. So I'm like, awesome. So I played it and it came with a collection of games. It came with a Harry Potter game, a hmm. Spider-Man game, the original Super Mario Brothers, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Aw. That was my first major, major experience with platforming and puzzle platforming. That was my real introduction to Mario where I fell in love with that character. Oh, yeah. Jumping around, solving these puzzles, being able to do all of this was just so fun and so cool. Which is why I got so excited when the remake got announced earlier this year. Yeah. Or early last year. Or when the last year had the direct. I was pumped. Everyone else was oh, like, yeah. oh, great. This again? I was screaming. I was so happy. I love like, this game. It's a great game. It is an amazing game. And then the fact that they added like more levels after that was just yeah. And then fast forward to a little bit later, I was at church and I was getting ready to go home, and the Grubbs family came up to me and they said, "Hey, we wanted to give you this," and they gave me the Game Boy Advance SP with all the games I had I had played. And she said, "Our son doesn't use these anymore." We asked him; he said it was okay if we give this to you, so we want to give this to you. I was so happy that I had all uh -huh. these games. And then later on, I ended up getting Super Mario Advanced 2 oh, yeah. with the Mario World remake. And I, I still have that game to this day, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, but I remember Mario vs. Donkey Kong was always my favorite. And that's, oh, yeah. that, that's my favorite memory of them giving me the console. I think flash forward a few years after, you know, the whole Wii and all that. Um, it was around the time that the 3DS was becoming a big thing. By the time I was decided, I was actually really wanting to get a Wii U for me and my brother because we wanted to play the new Smash Brothers. And, like, I was, like, big on that game when it first was announced. Like, I was so excited when that game got announced. Like, I was a, I think because, like, back then when I had the Wii, I would play a lot of Brawl with my brother. And we would just go at it in the Space, uh, space sub, sub Space Adversary, sorry. And pretty much, like, just the whole point of super smash brothers just got me like excited because i loved the idea of nintendo characters fighting each other and when super smash brothers for 3ds and wii u got announced i was i was excited so basically my mom said like kind of no on the wii u but she did say i could ask for a 3ds for christmas and i did so in december of 2014 yes i remember the year I got a 3DS with the... It was the, basically the new Super Mario Bros. 2 edition of the 3DS. And I was ecstatic because I was so happy to get the console that I asked for that year. And, like, I almost about cried because, like, I just had... I think I remember the three games I got on it when I got for Christmas were Mario Kart 7... Kirby's Triple Deluxe and Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. And from then on forward, I would just be playing nonstop on my 3DS. Going off of your Smash Brothers story, um, uh -huh. the way I got introduced to Smash Brothers was actually pretty funny. I was, uh -huh. my parents had given me a bit of money to buy something on the Wii, on the, mm -hmm. on the Wii shop. And I oh, was nice. looking and I saw Super Smash Brothers from Nintendo 64 on there. Ooh. And I saw this, and immediately I saw the words Super and Bros, and I thought it was a Mario game. <laughs> so that's why I got it. I that's had fair. no idea what Smash Brothers was. I had no idea what any of that was. And I thought it was Mario, so I got the game. And I remember playing it and getting better at it and thinking, wow, this is fun. Yeah. And that's how I got introduced to Smash Brothers on the Wii, which is I think was pretty cool. And my mom... My mom and dad would not let me get Brawl, which is kind of a bummer, because it was rated T, and it took actually several years of convincing to finally get her to let me buy the game. And I had to show her a video where there was no blood, no guts, no gore. It, they were just fighting. And so she's like, oh, well, I don't mind now. You can get that. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? After three years? After three years? Another console I had was the the DS. 
I remember I wanted a DS so badly because of YouTube. I would always watch gameplay videos of the DS. And I remember seeing the, my favorite thing to watch on YouTube was Super Mario Brothers for the DS. Oh, yeah. And I remember watching it and watching it and watching it and wishing, man, I wish I could play this game. But child me, I had no idea what it was called. I remember somehow I was able to communicate to my mom and my dad that I wanted whatever this was. And they were able to figure it out for themselves because I couldn't describe it that well. Mm. And I remember on Christmas morning, I woke up. I had a DS, a copy of Mario Kart DS, Mario Party mm -hmm. DS, and new Super Mario Brothers DS in my stocking. Aww. And I fell in love again. <laughs> I remember that day we actually had to go to a Christmas party at my great aunt's house. I have mm -hmm. to go to one of those every year when I was younger. And I remember mm -hmm. bringing the DS along for the first five hours of the day. I was able to go from world one all the way to world five in under four hours. Oh, wow. Now, to someone who's experienced with that game and knows it inside and out, that's not impressive for crap. But yeah. being an eight-year-old kid who's playing it for the first time, I thought I was pretty proud of myself. And yeah. I remember while people were talking at the party, while they were eating, I was just playing on my DS. My favorite memory from the DS was definitely that Christmas party where I'm just sitting there playing, having fun. Yeah. And then I got my 3DS. I remember that very clearly. My... I was asking for a 3DS for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the store, my parents knew if they put me, if they brought me to a GameStop, they were not going to get me out of that GameStop. GameStop was heaven for me. Oh yeah, it was heaven for me too. With her little rewards for doing good in school, I would ask to go to GameStop. I wouldn't want to go get ice cream. I wouldn't want to go buy a new toy. I wanted to go look in GameStop for That's fair. like maybe 30 minutes. And I remember seeing the 3DS there for the first time. And the second I saw the console, I was immediately able to figure out how to use it. And there was this huh. little girl who was playing it. And she was she was playing Super Mario 3D Land. And she was trying to figure out how to jump. And I remember just sitting there patiently waiting. In my head, I'm like, kid, move. Or I'll make you move. Oh. And the mom looks at me and she must have understood that I was waiting. And so she said, well, honey, why don't we let this... This young boy play. Maybe he can figure out. And the second I picked up that console, Mario was off. He was running, jumping, long jumping, <laughs> spinning. He was doing everything. And the kid was just watching me like I was some unknown creature. And just playing it, just going off. And then my dad said, all right, we got to go. We got to get home for supper. And little me started crying inside. Because I'm like, no. I don't want to leave the Italian man. But we left, and I remember telling him, I want a 3DS. And he said, we'll see for Christmas. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I'm like, all right. And this happened in February. A little later, around September, my mom actually bought her own 3DS that came with Mario 3D Land. And that made me so mad. I mean, it, 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 was, just, it was the whole child jealousy thing of, you got one, I don't have one, I'm upset. But yeah. she let me play it nonetheless. She got it for us to share, which was really cool. And then on Christmas Eve, my parents were letting me open one gift early. And I remember sitting down at the kitchen table. My mom put a package on the table and my dad was standing over the table. And you know how like people are mourning where they put their hands together in front of their stomach and just kind of look down yeah. when they're about to say something. So he looked at me and he said... Merry Christmas. And I opened the package and there was the 3DS that came with Super Mario 3D Land. Aww. And I was so happy. And I just remember all the fun I had on that console. Um, and I think my favorite memory is actually one that's quite recent. When hmm. I remember modding the console. Because the 3DS oh, is yeah. very moddable. And I added Mario Kart DS, 64 DS, Mario Part. I added every Mario game that the handheld could play. Hmm. And seeing every single one of the games from my childhood on one system, on one screen, it, I just fell in love again. And this was two years ago. Just seeing everything that I played and loved growing up as a kid 
having it all out in front of me was just so amazing to see. My next memory is with the Wii U, as you were saying. Um, that one I got pretty interestingly. My mom used this to reward reward me. This was motivation. I was in fourth grade, and my mom had said, "Okay, I'll tell you what. If you can ace your states and capitals test." Like get a hundred percent, no wrong answers. I will give you, I will buy you a Wii U. Mm -hmm. So I remember studying my butt off. And I remember I, but the test finally came and I took it. I aced it. I remember going home and I showed the test to my mom. She's like, all right, let's go. And we went to Target right then. And we got the black Wii U that came with new Super Mario Brothers U and the Ouija U. Oh, nice. And we played it. And I remember my dad wanted Mario Kart 8, so he bought that game. I ended up getting Smash Brothers later on and having fun with that. But I think my favorite memory of the Wii U was with my mom and my dad. My When playing Super Mario Chase in Nintendo Land. Mm -hmm. Nintendo Land was such a good game. It really was. And I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that, that that wasn't one of the ports that came to the Nintendo Switch. I think that would have been a great addition. Yeah. And then after the Wii U, it's, you know, the Switch. And the, the fact it's been on for, that's been out for over seven years. Exactly. And we're possibly getting a reveal this month. Yeah, um, hopefully. But yeah, my, my biggest thing was getting introduced to Mario as a kid. And ever since then, I have been loyal to Mario to this day. Yeah. Um, in 2023 was the year I finally got another console besides uh, Nintendo. I got a PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. And that was, it's funny, it took me 20 years to get a new console. Mm -hmm. I, I had the same brand of consoles for 20 years. Until I finally was like, eh, let's get a PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that was fun. I think, like, one of the most fun memories I have with the Switch, uh, with the Switch is just, like, because, uh, you know, I wanted to get a Switch for mainly Smash Ultimate, but, I mean, I did get other games along the way. And I just remember, like, because I think we were maybe a second, one, I think we were one character in to the uh, pass, and... I remember just like watching all the reveals for the characters and getting so excited. Like I'm just like sitting there waiting for the next character. And the thing is, is that like you know I never knew who Joker was for, for, from Persona Five because I never played Persona Five. And I mean my parents probably wouldn't have let me because it, it was it's not a it's not a family friendly game. I and I also really didn't know who Hero was because I I never really played a Dragon Quest game. But then I saw Banjo and Kazooie get in the game, and I knew who those two were. And I remember just getting so excited, just jumping up and down for joy, seeing that the bear and the bird had finally gotten into my favorite fighting game. Yeah, those two were, like, on the top list of requested Oh, yeah, characters. they were, like, top of the Smash 4 ballot, I believe. You already know who I want in Smash more than anything. Oh, yeah, I know who you want. Don't worry. I need, I need that. I, I want him too. I want him too. Yeah. I think that was one of my main memories is being so disappointed with every new Smash Brothers that Waluigi hadn't made it into the game yet. Yeah. And then the way they mocked him by making him an assist trophy just kind of mm, ticked me off. Mm, 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 mm. No, they, they, they disrespect him. But we'll talk about that yeah, more another time. they disrespect him too much. Yeah, we'll talk about that more another time. Yeah. But, um... I would just remember seeing like all the reveals and then I know one that made me insanely excited was when I because I think at the time I got Undertale for my Switch and I was really loving it. Undertale was like one of my favorite games by that by that time. So when I heard the Megalovania theme and I saw Sans standing there, I think I nearly busted my lungs because I was screaming so loud. Like I don't think I've ever screamed that loud before for a me costume out of all things. Yeah, the Smash Brothers reveals have always been the the way they do those reveals, it's very nostalgic. Oh and yeah. The trailers, even from Melee and Brawl, especially Brawl. Brawl's trailers and Wii U's. All I think, Brawl's trailers were I think Wii U's trailers were the best, like for a little oh, yeah. the cinematics for those ones. They were amazing. Beautiful. 
and I'm really I, hoping... I especially loved Mega Man, so that was really cool. Yeah, and I'm really hoping that they will make a um they'll do Subspace Emissary two or Yeah, like they do something. like some kind of continuation of like Subspace Emissary. And, and they make those high quality cutscenes again. Yeah. But I understand why Nintendo didn't do that. They didn't want them to get leaked, which that makes sense. Yeah, like I just it I I'm sorry, but World World of Light is garbage. Yeah. Like I do not like World it's, of Light in the slightest. It's really not. I mean, it's, it is it's not fun at all. It's kind of fun, but you get sick of it so fast. Yeah, it's like it gets boring after a while. Like you're doing the same task over and over again. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that yeah went into everything that makes you what you play today and what you enjoy, and all of those little experiences in the beginning, like your first yeah. introduction to Mario or Mega Man or Sonic. They they just yeah. they mean so much. And they have they shape how you are today. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I did not have a lot of friends growing up because I was the weird kid. I was the one that everyone hated and had a grudge against for no reason. I existed, yeah. so everyone hated me. And I remember the only person, the only thing that didn't reject me and hate me was Mario. Yeah. So I remember always having fun and being able to retreat to that world. Whenever my yeah, exactly. life got bad or life got hard, I was able to grab the controller and just make this fat little Italian run around and jump. Yeah, exactly. And the memories I have with that definitely live on in my life forever. And I'm excited to make new memories with new consoles. Yeah. I never had an N64 or an SNES growing up, but I'm pretty sure I would have loved them just the same. I remember... What's another memory I have? I remember... At the church I used to go to, they had this thing that they had every Saturday where the adults would be in a meeting, but the kids would be up in the sanctuary type area. Um, I brought my DS one day, and one of the other kids noticed it. He's like, is that Mario Party? I'm like, yeah, dude, bring your DS next time. We'll all bring ours, and we'll play. And awesome. so the next few weeks... Whenever, because I hated going to that sanctuary thing. I hated having to leave my parents and just go up and spend time with a bunch of random kids. Because my experience with random kids at school is that they'd pick on me and they'd be jerks. Yeah, they would be rude. But no one picked on me in there, which is which is nice. But I also just wanted to stay in my own little bubble. I just wanted to play my game and not have to interact with anyone. And That's fair. When people started offering to play Mario Party DS and this was all an idea, Saturday became my favorite day of the week. And I remember oh, walking fair. up, walking up to the church and other people that I played with in the parking lot, they'd look at me and they go, hey, it's party time. And we'd go up and we'd just play Mario Party DS with each other for like three hours. And it was the they, most like, fun thing. Like they say gaming doesn't make friends, but like, look at that story. I mean, it makes friends and it makes enemies. I, I never said we didn't hate each other afterwards. I mean, yeah, that's fair. I mean, Mario Party will do that too. I think the f most fun stories is when, uh, like, usually, um, I think you, like, um, when you, like, either, like, I would go online with you guys or just um, playing in person with my friends was just the most fun. Because, like, you know, it it's fun online, I guess, but when you're in person with no lag whatsoever and just four controllers and people and having fun eating snacks and just trash talking each other, that's when the most fun happens. The, the whole nostalgic factor is another reason why I don't really like emulators, especially for the ah. PC. Like, I have nothing against people who want to use Dolphin or Citra or whatever there, whatever's out there. But for me, yeah. like, let's say I want to play Super Mario Galaxy 2. And not counting the emulators, the only way you can play it is on a Wii or on a Wii U. I ah. want to play it in the most authentic way possible. I want to be able to play on the original hardware with the original controllers. I don't really care yeah. if it's if it's not in 4K, beautiful 60 FPS quality. It doesn't have to be perfect exactly. and pristine. It just has to be fun. And it hits home for me. It hits back to my childhood. And yeah, being able to play those games, how I played them as a kid, is one of the most important things to me. Because if the Wii isn't the best quality, okay, I'll add things to the Wii to make it look better, but I'm not going to change what I'm playing on. 
I, I just I've never liked emulators. I always like being able to boot up the Wii and play a game that I grow in love with as a kid. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I get that. I honestly get that. I mean, you know, for the feeling of authentic authenticity, you know, you got to kind of go with the uh, got to go with the original. And with games, it's especially important. The Wii gave me so many memories with my family. Oh yeah. And that's one of the things I am always grateful for. Remembering the love and the hatred that came with playing those games with my parents. <laughs> it was something yeah. that that could never be replaced. 